Hey guys, it's Sega Camp. Yeah, don't you like this? Yeah, I finally shaved today. Yep, I finally got up and decided, uh, might as well shave. <laughs> so yeah, I finally am, uh, I finally shaved off all this facial hair now, and now I'm just clean shaven again. Yeah. The haircut's coming, though. The haircut is coming. I'm plan I'm gonna go wait until sometime in April to get a haircut, so it is coming. But for now though, I'm doing this video on favor for my very good buddy Ty, also known as Yoshi God Guy here on YouTube. So as you guys are all well aware, the third ABW tournament is coming up. It's actually a it's surprising to know that it's exactly in two weeks from now. Yeah, April 5th, in case some of you guys don't know. In case the ABW tournament is going to be posted up April 5th, and it's going to be very exciting, and, I, and I'm looking very forward to it as well. But, like I said, my buddy Ty uh, wants me to make this video out just to let you guys know who you think is going to win the ABW tournament. Like, I'll tell you who, I'll tell you who I think might win after I tell you the competitors. So, for first, so for the first... So this is all the first round of my officials right now though. We have BB890 versus Sailorman Red 1. We got Christina Western Chandler versus Yu-Gi-Oh Fan Forever 69 XD. We got Just Some Random Geek versus Dr. Pizza. We got KKK Druid versus the MKMK. And then we have the Unknown Autobot versus Gorilla Monsoon. We got Ben the Looney versus the Jono 1170. And then the last, but not least, we have the old coots of, uh, known as Patrick Mitchell, Patrick Mitchell versus by slave Rob Peters. <clears throat> I don't know. Like I said, I don't. I don't know who you guys might pick for the ABW tournament, but I'm picking Yu-Gi-Oh Fan Forever 69 XD. And yes, Ty, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. I watched. If you ever watch the anime, they always say Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not Yu-Gi-Oh like you say it. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. 69, Fan Forever 69 XD. So now you know. It's actually Yu-Gi-Oh. You're always saying Yu-Gi-Oh. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. Try say, just try it, just try saying it like me now. Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, that's not so hard. Just a minor gripe, though, I'm mentioning here for my buddy Ty, but at, other than that, though, I'm a, everything is pretty much fine. So, like I said, I'm betting my poker chips on Yu-Gi-Oh! Fan for over 69 XD, just because we're, just because we're, just because after I heard about him uh, beating Christina Weston Chandler and ABW on steroids, I've kind of started getting a liking to this guy. Ty really hates him, but I think about I think Yu-Gi-Oh might have a, have a chance him, uh, for this tournament. But that's just me. Like I said, I don't know what you guys are gonna be picking. It might be different for you guys, but but if you guys might have any other suggestions, you can just leave your ideas down in the comment section below. And it's kind of and it's kind of sad because besides Christina Weston Chan, besides Yu-Gi-Oh fan Forever 69 XD. There's actually, besides I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh fan for 69 XD, there's only one other competitor who could take down Christina Weston Chandler, or Christian Weston Chandler. And you're probably wondering, who's Sega Camp? You're looking at him right here. How? You need me, you need an explanation? Well, rewind back to the first ABW. I used to, I was in a cage match with Christian Weston Chandler, and in the end, we ended up on a, we were having a cage match. We ended up outside of the cage, climbed the top, and guess who fell off first? He did. Yeah. <laughs> Probably the most, the best moment ever, Emma, for a, for me in ABW, was just knocking Christian Weston Chandler off. Yeah, at least until Kyle 6000 just sneak just um, came in and then afterwards surprise attacked me from behind and then the whole tournament then the whole thing went downhill after that. Although and still in the end though I still beated him. It was just that freaking taunt. 
If you ever watch the first ABW main event, though, you'll actually see him uh, once it gets right after I knock Christian Weston Chandler off the cage, and I start fighting Kyle Six Thousand. He does um, uh, he does brutally um, uh, start killing me in the first match, but still, in the end, though, I. But he had this um, uh, sort of taunt though, where he goes like where he goes like this. He goes like. Yeah, or, some, or something like that. It was pretty stupid. But sometime during the fight, though, just at, just as the fight comes to an end, he does the taunt, and I was knocked down him for like a bit at first, but then I quickly, I quickly got up and quickly pinned him down, and that is how the fight ended. If he did not use that taunt, he would have won the tournament and probably beaten me for in the ABW tournament, in the first ABW tournament, and then I probably wouldn't return for like the second. But that was still surprising to see how he ended up using that taunt to just to just to when I beat him back in the first ABW tournament. But yeah, like I said, if he did not do that taunt, he would have beaten me, and then I would have been the king of ass pies back for like the first ABW tournament, and then I had to come back again because, well, for well for reasons why to quickly quit being the king of ass pies at what's happening back in the first, but it did not happen, it, and I couldn't get rid of it. Oh well. Well, the good thing is, it's now, well, apparently now, though, um, as you're all well aware, I did a podcast, and now I'm, and now I'm officially not the king of the ass fights, except, though, if I don't, except I should stay out of a wrestling ring, which kind of sucks. If I could go back in a wrestling ring, I would really beat up of a Christian Weston Chandler, but I gotta, I gotta stay out of the ring now, but that's okay, I, I'm not gonna go, I'm uh, gonna go, pick another, I'm not thinking of picking another rematch with Christina Weston Chandler. I'm all, I'm already fine with the YouTube life I have. I just want to, I just want to leave it like that. And probably for the best. Anyway though, like I said, I'm going to go put my, I'm going to bet my poker chips on, uh, I'm betting my poker chips for Yu-Gi-Oh! Fan Forever 69 XD. So if you guys have any other ideas, let them, let let me know in the comments section below. And anyway, though, I think I wasted off enough time talking for now. Again, the ABW tournament will be in two weeks for the first for the first round. I hope you go see it once it gets posted. Anyway, though, I'll see you guys later.